Welcome to my channel The Sake of Physics. Today I'm going to discuss units, standards and uh, different systems of units. So the unit is uh, basically uh, our standard is a particular quantity with which we made measurements. Uh, we can say that the measurement of any quantity is made relative to a particular standard or unit. For example, the SI unit of length is meter. The new definition of meter is the length of path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 1 over 0.29 giga of a second, which is a very small number. Similarly, for time, the SI unit is second which is the time interval equal to uh, 9 giga periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the two hyperfine levels of ground state of cesium-133 atom. So we define one minute which is equal to 60 seconds and 60 minutes makes one hour. Similarly, for mass, we use the system international unit kilogram. The standard mass is particular platinum radium cylinder kept at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures near Paris, France, whose mass is defined exactly 1 kg or 1 kilogram. But when we talk about atoms and molecules, we usually use the atomic mass unit and the relation between atomic mass unit and kilogram is given as 1 amu or atomic mass unit equals 1.6605 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram. So here I would like to do a simple um, uh, problem which says that a light year is the distance light travels in one year. How many meters are there in one light year? So it means light year is the distance. So for distance, we have a formula, like if I show distance as S and V is the velocity, which is given here, speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, and T is the time. So here we know that the time is uh, one year. So uh, if I put the values here, so speed is given, which is 3, 10 to the power 8, which is speed of light, and time is given 1 year, which is 365 days. But in one day, we have 24 hours, and in one hour, we have 60 minutes, and in one minute, we have 60 seconds. So why I'm converting 365 days to seconds because the speed is given in meter per second. So second and per second will be cancel out. So if I multiply all these quantities, then I get 9.4608 10 to the power 15 meters or 9.5 10 to the power 15 meters. So it means this distance is traveled by light in one year. Similarly, if we are given another problem like how many seconds are there in one year? So as we already did that, that in one, one year equals 365 days. So 365 and in one day there are 24 hours, in one hour there are 60 minutes and in one minute there are 60 seconds. So if I multiply all these numbers, then I get 3.1536 10 to the power 7 seconds. How many nanoseconds in one year? So these are the seconds. So if I want to convert this number into nanosecond, nano mean 10 to the power minus 9. 
So if I multiply this with 10 to the power 9, then I get 3.1536 into 10 to the power 16 nanosecond because I just need to add them up 9 plus 7 and how many years are in one second so we know that one year equals 3.1536 10 to the power 7 seconds so from here I can write down one second will be equal to so what I just need to do is just take the inverse of this value. Which is equal to 3.17 10 to the power minus 8 here. So there are different system of units. Uh, system International or MKS system in which we describe length in meters, mass in kilograms, and time in seconds. Similarly, in another uh, system of units, CGS, where we describe length in centimeter, mass in grams, and time in seconds. But in British engineering uh, system, we describe length in feet, mass in pounds, and time in seconds. So these are the basic units, but there are basically seven base quantities. A base quantity must be defined in terms of a standard. So there are seven base quantities, as you can see in the table. For length, we use meters, time in seconds, mass in kilograms, electric current in ampere, and abbreviation is A, temperature in Kelvin, and uppercase K is the unit abbreviation for that. Amount of substance is in mole. And luminous intensity is in candela, which is uh, abbreviated as CD. There are other quantities which are known as derived quantities. So we say that all other quantities in terms of seven base quantities are called derived quantities. For example, Speed is a derived quantity, which is defined as distance divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. So like in the previous example, I wrote uh, distance equals Vt. So from here, we can say that V equals S over T, which is meters per second. So this is a derived quantity in terms of uh, two base quantities. So whenever we convert one unit to another unit, we need a conversion factor. For example, if we change um, uh, inches into centimeters, then we know the relation between inch and centimeter. So one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So the conversion factor from inches to centimeter will be 2.54 centimeter by inch. So here I would like to do an example. So if an apartment has floor area as 880 feet square, what is its area in square meters? So here we need to know the relationship between feet to meters. So we know that in so one inch equals as I just uh, uh, wrote in the last slide that it is equal to 2.54 centimeter or I can say that it is equal to 0 0.0254 meters. So now, now I know the relation between inch and meters. I also know that how many inches are there in one foot. So one, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So here I can do one thing. So one feet square will be equal to 
12 inches square or if I would like to change inches into meters then I can write The, this relation here 0.0254 square which is equal to 0 0.0929 meter square okay now I know the relation between feet square and meter square so I am given 880 feet square which will be equal to 800 feet square times 0 0.0929 meter square by p square which is almost 82 meter square so whenever we are trying to convert one unit to another we need a conversion factor Similarly, in another example, if a car is traveling at a speed of 28 meter per second, is it exceeding the speed limit of 55 miles per hour? So it means we need to convert meter per second to miles per hour. So we need another conversion factor. So I will do it in steps. So one mile equals 1,609 meters and one hour equals 3,600 seconds. So in first step, if I change meters to miles, so I can write down 28 meter per second equals 28 meter per second and in one mile I know that one six zero nine meters equal one point seven four times ten raised to power minus two miles per second. Now I need to change seconds to hours. So what I can do is one point seven four exponent minus two miles per second will become 1.74 10 to the power minus 2 miles per second 60 seconds per minute and 60 minutes per hour equals 62.6 miles per hour so what does it mean the car should slow down because it is exceeding the speed limit of 55 miles per hour so it is exceeding similarly there are some other quantities and uh, we call them dimensions and uh, when we do dimension analysis what we can get um, I can explain it so dimensions of a quantity refers to the type of base units or base quantities that make it up so what does it mean for example the dimensions of area are always length squared so whenever we write down the uh, dimensions we always do um, we always use square brackets so L square is for area because it has uh, units of either centimeter squares or meter squares similarly for velocity units either units are kilometer per hour miles per hour meter per second but the dimensions will always be L over T for velocity
So similarly, the formula of a quantity may be different in different cases, but the dimensions remain same. For example, the area of a triangle is half B times H, where B is the base of the triangle and H is the height. And area of a square is different, just sides, uh, for example, side is given, then it will be A square. Uh, and if we say area of a circle, uh, then it will be pi r square. But you can see that the, the formula for every uh, different quantities is uh, the formula for area is different, but you uh, but the dimensions are always L square. Symbols used for dimensions to specify length, mass, and time are L, M, and T. And you can see they are all uppercase. So dimension analysis basically is a power for procedure which makes use of the fact that dimensions can be treated as algebraic quantities. So for example, if I would like to check the correctness of uh, an equation, I can use dimension analysis. For example, here, uh, the question is show that the expression V equals V0 plus AT is dimensionally correct, where V and V0 represent velocities, A is acceleration, and T is time. So if I write, I know that the uh, dimensions for V are L over T because the formula is uh, meter per second. Formula gives us units meter per second. Uh, sorry about that. Meter per second. V naught will have the same uh, dimensions. So if I uh, see the um, uh, left hand side has L over T dimensions. Now what about right hand side of the equation? It is L over T and L over T square times T because the acceleration is meter per second square. So one T will be canceled out and we will be left with L over T. So this is dimensionally correct. So this was all video about um, units, their uses, base units, derived quantities, and conversion factor, and that how we use dimension analysis to check the correctness of a, an equation. Uh, thank you so much. If you didn't uh, subscribe my channel, please uh, subscribe my channel. See you next time. Thank you.